We're here today at James Lee's looking at his soils and structure and drilling um, as part of an ongoing project. Um, essentially we're looking at how James is getting some sustainability and resilience back into his soils. Um, almost less is more, he's trying to establish good crops, grow good crops but with a minimum of, of, of effort, not extensively moving soil wherever possible. Uh, on this particular farm we've been here 18 months, um, lucky to get the tenancy having worked here as a contractor, um, so our aim is to improve the farm as best as we can, either that's through um, improved soil structure um, and better grass management. Because he's a contractor as well, he, he's basically living and dying by his machinery and his business of, of offering that service. So if it doesn't work, he isn't going to be around, so it's got to work. The, the whole agenda of the Monitor Farm is, is the topics are driven by the farmers themselves and soils has been a key issue that has come up amongst the Monitor Farmers as one to address. Soils um, are bread and butter really, um, without good soil we can't grow profitable crops. When soils are wet they're weak structurally, they can't support heavy loads. Trafficking is very difficult without getting some form of damage. Down here you, you do get some quite extreme weather events, there's a lot of slopes so there's a high risk of runoff and people are very conscious of trying to avoid um, uh, environmental issues so yeah. if you can build that resilience you start to, to use the soil as a, as, a, as a filter really to hold on to nutrient. Looking long term trying to feed the soil, it's very light soil on the arable land so any muck we can put on um, is a good thing and coupled with our direct drilling system we should see a massive benefit. If you can keep the damage down, open the structure, give yourself good porosity in there, then you've got more chance of holding on to water, which is there for the crop, more chance of the roots growing deeper, and that's really all about not squeezing the soil tight, so if you can keep pressure down, the squeezing goes down, uh, you've got a good chance of, of the soil becoming very resilient. When you increase inflation pressure in a tyre, if the soil is soft, like it's just been ploughed or deep cultivated, then it, it's fairly easy to see that the tyres rut deeper. So effectively what you're doing is driving uphill all the time out the rut. It's a good question as well if, if, you, if you're looking to reduce inputs, if you're looking to, 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 to establish the crop more as a direct drilling scenario, which James is trying on, on quite a lot of the fields, then I guess you've got to ask yourself, well, do I need to get more yield or will the same yield do because my inputs have gone down, my margins hopefully improve? Um, it's all going to tie into the system that we run on the farm. I want to, to maximise the, the muck going on the arable land and the grassland to try and build the natural structure and the nu nutrition level. Um, so yeah, the mixed farming enterprises that our beef and duck operation is all aimed to um, be as profitable as possible hopefully and put muck on back on the ground. The stimulation from the speakers and the, pe the other people I meet here um, helps to challenge me. Am I doing the right thing? Should I be looking at other, other ways of doing it, other enterprises? Um, and it also just helps keep you sharp. Continue looking at ways of reducing compaction. Prevention is always better than cure. Um, I first saw benchmarking in Australia in a group of cotton farmers and I just quite like the open discussion they had on their similar operations, comparing new ideas and self-analysing each other and I'm always keen on uh, sharing information and um, yeah, moving forward really. I'm just being as open as we can, you know, um, we come from a family farm quite close by so we're yeah, lucky to now run this farm as well and it's the same as home, we have run a mixed operation and always focus on trying to do things as good as we can but we can always do better. It's only a relatively short time from when I first started to come down here but already in some of the fields you can see there's more life, there's more fibre, there's more spring, there's more resilience is probably the word. I think the first thing to do is understand your soil if there is a problem. Get a spade out, go and dig and find out if there are problems in there. Identify where they are. If, if an, initially you understand your soil and you know where the big problems are, address them. For me the number one is drainage, always is. Uh, if, 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 if drainage is restricted it's very difficult to farm economically.